Hello everyone! In the previous video, we created a feature that allows us to load the next or the previous scene when a character touches left or right arrow. In this video, we will create another useful feature that will let us to go to main menu by pressing the menu button and go back to the scene we left to continue the game. So here is our project created in the previous video. I will put a link to that video into the description, so you can check it out. Let's begin! First of all, I create a new scene, which will be main menu scene. I name it as menu. Double-click it to open it up. Here it is so empty yet. To make it possible to load this scene during gameplay, we need to add it to the build. Go to File, Build Settings and drag and drop our menu scene into this window. I place it at the beginning of the scenes list, so menu scene gets build index equals to zero. OK. Now let's create a couple of buttons. First, I create a new canvas and set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Then right-click on canvas and create new UI button. I rename it as Start button. Then I duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D keys and rename this new one as Continue button. Expand Start button and modify its text component. Text field will show Start sign. Expand Continue button. Text field will show Continue sign here. Select Start button and anchor it at the middle of the canvas, holding Alt plus Shift keys. Select Continue button and anchor it at the center the same way. Focus on Continue button by double-click it and bring it down a bit. Let's make font size bigger a bit. 20 is OK for me. Now we have a very simple main menu scene. Now let's add a button to our scenes that will allow us to go to main menu. Select scene 1. Create new canvas and set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Right-click on canvas and create new UI button. I rename it as menu button and modify its text component so it will show us menu sign. Font size will be 20 as well. Select menu button and anchor it at the top left holding Alt plus Shift keys. I give it a little indent. 10 from the left and 10 from the top. Nice. Focus back on the scene by double-click the cat. OK. Select canvas and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C keys. We are going to paste it into scene 2 and scene 3. Open up scene 2 and paste copied canvas into the hierarchy by pressing Ctrl plus V keys. Cool. Now we have menu button into the scene 2. Save scene 2, open up scene 3 and paste the canvas into the hierarchy. Very good. Save scene 3. Here is one important thing. To make UI buttons work, we should have event system in the scene. I forgot to copy it along with the canvas, so I will do it now. Go to scene 1, select event system in the hierarchy and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C keys. Open up scene 2 and paste it into the hierarchy with Ctrl plus V keys. Save the scene. Open up scene 3 and paste event system here as well. Save the scene. Now menu buttons will work properly. Now it's time to create some scripts, which will control our buttons. Here it is one magically created, named to menu, which will control menu button. Let's take a look what's inside of it. Script uses scene management library to control scene loading. Here we have only one variable, named current scene index, and load main menu method, which will be invoked when menu button will be pressed. When it happens, then we get current scene build index and save it using player preferences, which allows us to save and hold different types of data between the scenes. In our case, we save current build index, creating integer variable named saved scene and pass it a value of current scene index variable. This will allow us to use that value later in menu scene to load the scene we left. After that, we load a menu scene which has build index equals to zero as we remember. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to menu button. Now we need to link menu button to that load main menu method in this script. Select menu button and create new onclick function here. Drag and drop menu button into object slot here and set new function, which will be load main menu method from to menu script. Button is ready. Save the scene. Do the same for menu buttons in the other scenes. Select scene 2. Drag and drop to menu script to menu button. Select button. Create new onclick function. Drag and drop menu button into object slot. Set load main menu function. Save the scene. 
Same for scene 2. Don't forget to save the scene. Now let's complete our main menu scene. I open it up by double click it. Here we will have two scripts. First one is start button. Let's take a look what's inside of it. Not much actually. Here is only one method, named start game, that loads scene number one. Scene management library is also here. Ok, drag and drop this script to start button. Select start button, create new onclick function, drag and drop start button into object slot, select start game method from start button script. Start button is done. Another one script was created with the blink of an eye, named continue button. What's inside of it? Scene management library is used here as well. Also, here we have scene to continue variable and continue game method, which will be invoked when continue button is pressed. What do we do inside this method? Here we get that value of saved game variable from player preferences that we saved when we pressed menu button during gameplay. So we get that value and pass it to scene to continue variable. Then we check if we have any value in player preferences at all, and if we do, then we load the scene according to scene to continue value. And else, if we run our game for the first time, or if we didn't save the scene we left for some reason, then nothing happens. That's it. Drag and drop this script to continue button, select continue button, create new onclick function, drag and drop continue button into object slot, select continue game method from continue button script. Save menu scene. Everything is done. Now we can hit play and see how it works. If we play our game for the first time, then continue button does nothing. So let's start the game with start button. Cat can walk from scene to scene, touching left or right arrow. Suddenly, in scene 2, we decide to go to main menu. So we press menu button and main menu is loaded. Now, if we press continue button, we go back to scene 2. Nice. Let's try to go to main menu from scene 3. Ok. Now, if we press continue button, we go back to scene 3. Very good. Seems to work well. Ok. Hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.